Okay, adding in binary. So last time you learned how to count in binary. Remember, it's all ones and zeros. Well, today I'm going to show you how to add. Now, let's go back a bit to the long addition. If we take a look here, what we have is two, three, four, one, five, six. Yeah, okay, and that comes to three ninety. How? Well, four and six equals ten. So we write ten, but by carrying the one. Then. 3 and 5 and 1 equals 9. Fairly simple. So let's have a look again at this 4 and 6 because this carry business I want to focus on again. You're used to this. Is when you go 4 plus 6 then you have run out of digits. You're moving on to that bit where you flip over to the next digit as we did in counting. And that next digit then obviously gets carried over and added on the left hand side. Not rocket science. Well that's exactly what you do when you're adding in binary. Let's have a look at one. So here I have long addition in binary. Now, there's only three real rules. When we think about it, naught and one equals one. Uh, and for this sake, I'm gonna say carry the naught or just zero, one. One and one, well, one plus one is two. And remember, we write two as one zero, where the zero is zero times one, and the one would be one times two. Remember, it goes one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, and so on and so forth. So where we have here, it says one plus one, that is the binary equivalent of two. Yeah, there would be our one, there would be our two, so it's one, two. The difference, of course, is when we do one plus one plus one, well, close to freeze, that's three. And we write binary of three as, remember, that's worth one, and that's worth two, so one plus two is three. Uh, and how we do that then is we carry a 1 and we write a 1. So here we have an example of this is 1 plus 1. Well, that would be 2. So if we have a look, that's our 0. Carry the 1, which gives us 1, 0. When you have two ones and you're adding them, then you write a 0 and you carry the 1. Okay. Let's look at my slightly more complex one. Is remember our rules again? 0 plus 1 in binary is 0, 01, 1. 1 plus 1 in binary is 1, 0, and 1 plus 1 plus 1, you'll see that here, is 3, which written in binary is 1, 1. So we look at the first bit. Here we've got a 1 and 1. Well, that gives us a 0 with the carry forward. So there's our 0 and there's our carry forward. Here we have 1, 1 and one now. So that actually means that we write down the one and carry forward to one, which is quite important. And finally, there is a zero above this one, so it just becomes one on its own, nothing plus one. So it's one, one, zero. It is that simple, it really is nice. Now, while I'm teaching you how to add in binary, I also thought I'd better talk about grouping is this is something you're going to need to know and it makes more sense on the next homework i promise so in binary we like to group into blocks of four bits so we keep call a one or a zero it's just a little bit a bit and that's its technical term four bits make a nibble and two little nibbles make a bite now whenever we're writing in binary for computers we always try to keep them in groups of four and when we go beyond that, we like to talk in terms of bytes, and I will explain why a byte happens in another video, uh, which is obviously groups of eight, and two sets of nibbles. So at the very least, whenever writing binary, you have to keep it into nibbles rather than, so you would do four bits is fine, five bits is no, no. So that would be, the minimum would be two nibbles there, which would be one byte, which you can see there. Okay. To explain it another way, because this is quite important, imagine I have this chocolate bar. On my chocolate bar, one little bit of the chocolate bar is either a one or zero, and that we make a bit. All yum, 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 everything else, but a bit isn't good enough. It never is. Nobody I know of can ever just have one of those little chunks in their own. You need a whole row at minimum. So a whole row is a nibble. There we go. Four bits make a nibble, but if you want to think about this next one, well, think basically, I can never just have one row. One row of bits is never enough for me. I need a whole byte, so I take two whole rolls. There we go. 
So two nibbles make a bite and it was delicious. So what you've learned is how to add up in binary and you've learned about grouping into bit, nibble and bite. Okay.